Hey guys, what's up? It's come back at you again. Today I bring you an Andy James octave lick in E minor. Let's go. All right then, let's go. Uh, it, basically, what we're going to be doing here, we'll, this lick is used quite often when Andy James is improvising. And uh, where we're going to begin is on the, uh, the, the 12th fret of the low E string. And we're going to play a, this little sequence. It should be 12, 16 on the D, and then uh, 14 on the A. Okay, then we're going to skip strings with the index finger and hit the 12th of the, um, the G string, 16 on the G string, and then 14 on the D string. So you should have this. And then what we're going to do is move on to the uh, 12th of the, um, the B string, uh, 15 on the B string, and then 14 on the G string. And then 12 and 15 on the high E string. Let me play that a couple of times for you really slowly. Once again. Okie dokie. Now what we're going to do, since you finished that part on the 15th of the high E string, we're going to slide to 19 on the high E string. Okay, so. So what you should have here uh, is practice getting that slide pretty precise. Okay, now what we're going to do is an almost Gus G inspired thing where you are going to be descending up the E minor scale on the uh, the G and the B strings using some little slides. So the way this is going to work is 19 on the high E string, 17 on the, uh, the B string, then you slide on the B string up to the 15th on the B string again. And now you're here, you're going to um, play 17 on the high E string, then, then slide uh, the B string from 15 to the, uh, the B, uh, sorry the B, the 12th fret of the B string. Now here is where it sort of connects with the octaves, and um, I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to show you how they connect. Okay, there's a little sort of little connector lick here, and it works like this. And the way that works is you go 15, 12 on the B, 15 on the uh, on the E string again, and then 12 on the G string. And let me put that with the last part for you, just so I can show you it in context. And now we are going into the uh, the octaves part, and this is where it gets a little bit fiddly. So, after doing that little connector lick, we're going to do this. We're going to slide from the uh, 12th of the, um, the G string up to uh, 11 on the G string. And now you're going to play the corresponding octave above, so pay attention to this. You're going to be playing, um, from the notes I show you, you're going to be playing the corresponding octave above each time. So it goes like this. Then you flip over to the, um, the D string here, go 12, slide, you go 12, then to the octave on the G, on the uh, the B string, slide uh, from fourteen, sorry, from twelve to the fourteenth, and then play the corresponding up uh, octave above on the seventeenth. So you should have this. Sorry. Then you flip over to uh, B. Then you 
then you go 14 on the A string and then 16 on the G so you should have this then you slide um, down two frets then play the corresponding octave so what you should have so far from the connector like I showed you before is this play that connector lick to put it in context to make it easier for me. Let me play that again slower for you. to the, uh, the E string before we get a little bit carried away here. So you've left off on uh, 12th on the A, 14 on the, um, the G string, then you're going to go 12 on the E string, you don't actually play the octave above actually, then you slide up to 15 on the E string, the low E string that is, then play the um, octave octave up on the 17th then slide back up up down rather onto the 12th so what you should have so far is from the connector lick is this Okay, so now the whole lick so far, from the very beginning, should be this. And now at a faster speed. a bit of faster speed if I can. Give that one a good practice over. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've liked what you've seen. Uh, please appreciate that this lick was very, very difficult to teach. I'm teaching it to you the way I would pick it up from someone else, like the way I'd actually learn it in my head and the way I'd understand it as such. Uh, but anyway, please enjoy the lick. It's very, very useful and feels amazing to play. But uh, anyways, uh, please follow me on Instagram. Please like and subscribe. I'll put my Instagram below you on the screen here so you can see what's happening uh, between uploads and also what's going on behind the camera. Rock on, guys. I'll see you later.